are meltdowns, and then there is tennis star Nick Kyrgios. At the U.S. Open in the quarterfinals, the Australian lost a five-set thriller to lower-ranked Karen Kachanov. Here is the Kyrgios tantrum in slow motion and in Zoom. All right, thank you, umpire. Appreciate it, and I can't believe I lost the freaking five set. Much of a stupid. I hate the stupid racket. I hate the sport. But damn, Dallas U.S. Open. Damn it. <sighs> I want to go back to Australia, and I've got another racket that also I can't play in this stupid sport. Damn it. <sighs> oh, my stupid Kachanov. There he is. He's going to wave to the crowd. That should have been me. I should have beaten him. <sighs> and get out of here. And go home. Ugh. Kachanov is like, that guy's going crazy. But that's all right. He'll get his racket. Thank you, everybody. Yes, thank you. I'm 27th ranked in the world. He was 23rd, but I beat him. Yes, thank you over there. Thank you to the backcourt. Yes, I'll see you in a couple nights. I'm going to the semis. Yep, look at me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm not a lip reader, but that was wild. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. From a pure tennis perspective, you can understand why Nick Kyrgios was so upset. This was a very close match in the quarterfinals. He lost the first set 7-5, then won the second set 6-4, then lost the third set 7-5, and facing elimination, he won a tiebreaker in the fourth set 7-6. It goes to the fifth and final set, and he loses 6-4. Tennis matches don't get much closer than this. A couple of points either way, and Nick Kyrgios would have won this thing. So perhaps a couple of mistakes. He's mad at himself. You can understand why he thought like, oh, I should have won this match. Now, never mind the embarrassment in terms of tennis. There's also the setback in terms of finances because there was a hefty payday of an extra $260,000 if Nick Kyrgios won this match. He got four forty-five for getting to the uh, quarterfinals. He would have gotten $705,000 in the semis. If he went to the finals, that's $1.3 million. And if he won the U.S. Open, that's $2.6 million dollars. That's a lot of money to pay for therapy and anger management, something that Nick Kyrgios clearly needs to spend a little bit more time focusing on. By the way, we would show you the ESPN camera view and their commentary of all this. Chris Fowler, the announcer, said, oh, there goes one frame and there goes another. But we don't have rights to that footage, so you just have to take my word for it that ESPN spent just a little bit of time uh, focused on this. Now, we can all have a great laugh, and there are a lot of people who are debating online. Isn't this wonderful passion? <laughs> well, it is wonderful sort of physical passion in terms of tennis, but a lot of people who are this angry, this extreme, also have it explode in other parts of their life. And Nick Kyrgios has done this before. He has smashed rackets before. Yes, two rackets after matches. In this very tournament, he spit and cursed at his members of his own team. And oh, by the way, there was this headline in Forbes back during Wimbledon early in the summer. Controversial tennis star Kyrgios accused of domestic assault amid Wimbledon run. This involved a girlfriend back in Australia. People who get this angry tend to have it spill out in other parts of their life. They lose control. And this is a terrible example to be giving to competitors. You don't want our young men in particular to say, oh, I'm going to be like Nick Kyrgios and smash things when you get mad. No, that's not how you deal with anger. Nick Kyrgios needs some help. But man, oh, man, was this video crazy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you.